What's going on everybody? This is Cody, the Home Theater Hobbyist, and today I am in Raleigh, North Carolina at Audio Advice. They let me come into their showroom and quite frankly, I am impressed. So I wanted to share with you what they have in here because they have so much stuff. It, honestly, I'm just gonna tell you right off the bat, if you are looking for um, a place where you can come and hear a nice two channel setup, hear some turntables, hear some headphones, obviously sit in a few theaters, definitely come to Audio Advice. They have two locations, I think Raleigh and Charlotte. You got it. All right, so I've got Scott Newnham here, the CEO of Audio Advice. Scott, please tell us what we have here. Yeah, let's go have some fun. So yeah. you got to come through last night a little bit, so yeah. we're gonna come through. Let's just walk through a little bit okay. and talk a little bit about the showroom. Uh, obviously, as you see when you come in, it's like a toy store yes. <laughs> for yes, adults. Um, let's start maybe walking into this uh, one, what we call the multi-purpose room. Mm -hmm. And uh, this room, as you can see, has got a whole host of tower and bookshelf speakers. Yes, yes. And as you might imagine, as you saw last night, we've got a switcher where we can switch between uh, integrated amps in here and switch mm -hmm. between all of the tower speakers and bookshelves. Mm -hmm. But we are generally known as speakers are us because yes. we've got every <laughs> major kind of speaker in here uh, yeah. that people can come listen. You can actually match them up with subs and listen to them in this room. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's, that's one of the things that I like. And honestly, this room, kind of reminds me a little bit of like the Best Buy Magnolia experience. And that's really cool because, you know, you have an opportunity to listen to, like you said, floor standing tower speakers. You've got bookshelf speakers here. You've got your subs down here and you've got a nice seat in the middle of the room so you can listen to everything and get a nice presentation. Um, and I also noticed that you have some amplifiers oh, behind me over here. Um, so you've got the Cambridge, you've got the Rotel, you've got some Technics. You yeah, can we be, have the full mixture yeah. in here. Now, when you want to leave the sort of classic, what you would call the Magnolia Best Buy feel, yeah, yeah. we start to go to the other rooms, yes. which changes the total feel. Yes. So let's go take a look at one of the uh, one of the rooms. We're going to go into one that uh, I call the British room. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not all British. Maybe we should call it European. <laughs> but uh, yeah. this particular room has got... Uh, BMW speakers in it. You'll see the BMW branding and equity branding in here. Mm -hmm. um, we've almost always kept 802 speakers in here mm -hmm. in a mixture of BMW that people can come in and listen to. Mm -hmm. um, you've got over here Arcam, which is also a, um, a European company. It's actually own, owned by Harman. Mm -hmm. And then Macintosh, obviously, in the United States. Macintosh. Sonos Fabers here. Uh, you will see over here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We've got a stack of Mark Levinson, and we actually have Sonos Faber in here as well, which is an mm -hmm. Italian made speaker. Mm -hmm. And then right next to it, we've got Focals, mm -hmm. which are uh, French. Yeah. And so we've got, <laughs> got the full mixture here. But uh, the concept is that you can walk into this room. This is a little bit different than that room, right? It, it is. This room, we actually are setting up the setup that you want. So you can see uh, this morning, Someone's gonna come in and listen to a stack of audio research mm -hmm. and hear the Martin Logan 15As, which are set up. Um, and I don't know, did you get a chance to listen to these already? I haven't, but I'm looking forward to it. We're coming back to listen yeah. to these. <laughs> so to this. these 15As, you know, these are electrostatic speakers. So mm -hmm. we've got everything from your traditional speakers to electrostatics, mm -hmm. magna pans, and then also horn-based speakers in the store. Mm -hmm. I love these for listening to string instruments and acoustics. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna come back That's and so listen fast. to these. They're just incredible room filling mm -hmm. uh, system. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And like you said, we got the B and Ws here. It's yeah, and that and that's honestly, I think the thing that I noticed that was different than let's say a Magnolia experience at Best Buy is that you actually have rooms like this that are actually different. They're dedicated. There's two chairs in this room. Yeah, really yeah. cool. So let's let's move on. Um, we're gonna jump over actually into our smart home experience, center, okay. which yep. is a little bit different. You'll see our full Devi LA for someone who's into, if they're not familiar with it, you know, Sonos is sort of the biggest player within the distributed wireless music world. And we've got Sonos system distributed throughout. Mm -hmm. But we also have full Devi LA, which is sort of a higher end uh, version of Sonos. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, so in here, and we have this in both the stores, is essentially a fake home. And mm -hmm. it's an entire smart home <laughs> where you can hit the doorbell, camera pops up everywhere inside of the um, fake home here. Mm -hmm. But what we can do is control electronic shades throughout this uh, house, mm -hmm. electronic uh, music comes through here, lighting control, so one button brings the lights down. When you set the alarm in this home, mm -hmm. uh, all the lights turn off, the shades come down, the music turns off, the televisions turn off. Mm -hmm. um, we actually have over here, you'll see we sort of have 
fake windows connected with the shades. And we have a mantle mount here. So this is a Samsung frame television. Oh. Uh, it it turns on the artwork when the television is off. When the television turns on, mm -hmm. uh, not only does the artwork go away, but the television then comes down to eye level to mm -hmm. sit here. Uh, and we'll come back here as well. We actually have invisible speakers in here. So you see these towers. Yeah. But one of the cool things to show people is there are some people that are building a new home that don't want towers in the room. Mm -hmm. And these are invisible speakers hidden into the walls. There's sort of a great example. Oh, um, I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's so really we'll come cool. back, we'll listen to these as well. That's really cool. And this is actually a television behind the mirror. So one of the concepts in this whole area is someone's building a new home or remodeling, mm -hmm. and they want to learn, hey, I want a full smart home. Mm -hmm. And everything in here is fully integrated. Maybe we'll come back and do a little bit of a little bit of playing in here as well. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, I didn't I didn't I mean I saw the, the window and I didn't even realize that was a frame TV over there. And... Yeah, so you'll see just as a simple example, if I hit all off here, you know, it's full sort of lighting control in the room. Mm -hmm. And then I can go back, bring into uh, that system, and if I arm the system, so if I uh, armed this away, it would slowly count down as I left, arm the security, turn off the lights, everything else. That's, that's, that's cool. And that's, and that's what you want when you come to a place like this. I can get my whole home serviced right here as far as audio, video, and obviously smart control, smart home. So it's really home. interesting, Cody. One of the things, uh, years ago, we had walls of televisions. And it was like, you know, every single version you could possibly do. And now what we try to do is show a different size of television. So as you notice, as we walked around and we try to show, okay, we've got OLED over here. We've got mini LED over here mm -hmm. and allow people to sort of see the differences where, okay, maybe I'm in a darker room and I really see, want to see the pop of an OLED television mm -hmm. versus maybe I'm in a much brighter room and what's the benefit of doing a mini LED. Mm -hmm. And you'll just see those sort of distributed throughout. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, there's TV right here. Okay, so this is uh, my favorite music room. <laughs> okay. Um, as you mentioned before, uh, we've got a wall of turntables. Yes, uh, <laughs> yes. One of the things that uh, differentiates audio device we've been around for 44 years is we're trying to cover the entire gamut of audio. So if you include what we sell online, mm -hmm. nationwide, we're the largest seller of uh, custom turntables in the country right now. Oh, wow. So everything from just someone buying just a basic turntable, trying it out, that's got maybe a built-in phono uh, mm -hmm. amp, all the way to us actually installing a custom cartridge, mm -hmm. and putting on a tone arm for someone and shipping it out to them or them coming in the stores. And so turntables is a large part of uh, what we do today, which is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, it's, it's funny to me that turntables have I shouldn't say come back, but they, they kind of came back. And this is like, it's a big, big deal. And again, you can come in here, you can sit down, you can see the whole wall over here. And then we've got this setup here, which is a nice two channel setup. Yeah, Always. so this setup is really cool. So Macintosh we've amps. got a Macintosh system here. You see the Macintosh amps here on the floor, Macintosh preamp, and they're connected to Sonus Fiber. Now, interestingly, so Macintosh is like the iconic you know, U.S. <laughs> yes. um, component manufacturer. Yes. They actually own Sonos Faber, which oh. is the Italian speaker manufacturer. And so if you sort of think about this mixture of the great American-made components at Macintosh, where everyone knows the blue meters and that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. with Sonos Faber, the, the matchup is just incredible. So this particular room, these Amadis are connected to the Macintosh. And then we actually have uh, rail subs connected to them as well. Again, mm -hmm. we're going to come back here and I'm going to listen to this room because it's just, okay. in my mind, this is one of the best sounding rooms uh, that I've ever sat in in my life. So we'll play around in here a little bit as well. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. All right. So let's switch gears to a totally different kind of room. Mm -hmm. um, this room switches from, hey, we've seen some electrostatic speakers, we've seen some traditional speakers like the Sonos Favors. Mm -hmm. So we get in here into horn-based speakers, right? Clitch. So you'll see Clitch corner horns here, which are designed to corner load and uh, Fortes and Heresies all set up in here. So it's, it's fascinating. People will come into a store like ours mm -hmm. and um, one group of people will already know like, hey, I wanna hear Magnapans or I wanna hear electrostatics. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people have not really experienced great horn-based drivers. And they'll mm -hmm. come in, and particularly people that like rock and roll and stuff like that, oh my gosh, this has sort of a retro look. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I mean, I see you got, what, the Cambridge Edge? Correct. Um, there, yep. and then a couple, you know, 
the Macintosh amps and those are even the tube amps. So yeah, I mean, this is, this is a really cool setup. I mean, you know, obviously you got a Klipsch logo here, so you got a Klipsch room, which is cool, you know, and obviously I'm a Klipsch guy. I have the reference premieres at home. And um, so yeah, this is another great place to come and sit and enjoy yourself. So what else you got here? All right, so let's jump over. Let's talk about theaters a little bit. Mm -hmm. So as you might imagine, a lot of people that come into our stores are looking to put in a media room mm -hmm. or a home theater room. Mm -hmm. And what we try to do is show people everything from, hey, I just want a media room with a television, mm -hmm. all the way up to I want the Mac Daddy Theater. Okay. So let's jump into this first room here. Okay. This room um, is designed to show people, hey, what if I don't really have a dedicated theater room? but I want full surround sound, I want a nice television. Mm -hmm. And so you'll see in here, we've got a whole SVS setup. Mm -hmm. uh, and you were talking about a little bit about the elevation speakers in yeah. here. Yeah, that's one of the things that I like about this particular store is that not only do you have in ceiling speakers, cause you know, a lot of people do in ceiling speakers in their stores, but they actually have the prime elevations in this room. I've actually reviewed the prime towers um, and they sound great. And obviously we've got the SVS uh, PBE, there's probably a 2000 there. Um, but the fact that you can actually come into a store and listen to an entire SVS setup, including the elevation speakers on a wall, that's really cool inside a store. Because again, you have all the in ceiling speakers and that's great, I'm not um, knocking that, but it's nice to be able to get, for those of us who can't do in ceiling speakers, and a chance to preview like the prime elevations and stuff like that in a room like you would have at home. And they've even got, you know, truss across the top of the ceiling in here. Right. So, so well, yeah. As you and I were talking earlier, mm -hmm. not everybody's got the perfect room. Right. And so we try to show different situations where you don't have a perfect room and mm -hmm. what are the solutions that you do for it. Mm -hmm. And actually this room, acoustically the way it's designed it would normally not be a uh, acoustically good room mm -hmm. and so we've got by acoustic uh treatment in here okay. so you'll see we've got some uh, diffusion in the back mm -hmm. we've got some at the first reflections here we've got some absorptive panels but this is a great room to show people hey i can take a room and make it multi-purpose mm -hmm. and with a television and do some things that you didn't think you could do it now let's jump over to the room that it's sort of our, what I call our number one selling room, which mm -hmm. is, okay, I want a real theater with a projector and okay. a screen. And so we'll jump over to the, the first room here. Okay. What we try to show people in the first room is a 16 by nine. Mm -hmm. And so we'll often ask people, do you listen, when you, when you sit in a theater, are you um, watching concerts or are you watching sports, news? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Uh, or is it mainly movies? Mm -hmm. And we'll get a large number of people that say, look, you know, I watch a lot of sports and I watch a lot of news and I watch Netflix. And oftentimes a 16 by nine may be the best solution for them. Mm -hmm. And so we start with this room, which has got a traditional surround sound system, a great screen, um, but it's a 16 by nine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no Atmos in this room. So you get a sense of, okay, what does what this room cost? What would it work? And then we say, okay, now you've experienced this, let's go over to widescreen mm -hmm. and people can jump back and forth, you know, mm -hmm. and get mm -hmm. a sense, okay, well, which do I like better? Mm -hmm. And so you'll see in here, we jump, this a little bit more expensive room. We mm -hmm. now jump to a, a two, three, five screen. Mm -hmm. We also jump to Atmos in the ceiling. And so they can get a sense. This room's got a uh, Anthem. Mm -hmm. uh, 740 in it. Mm -hmm. So we can get a sense of, okay, I've got an anthem in here. And um, then let's just jump to this Mac Daddy room over here. <laughs> okay. Um, oftentimes, even if this is not people's budget, we'll walk them in here mm -hmm. to just try to experience. This is a very large JBL synthesis system. Mm -hmm. um, this currently has the Sony 915 projector with an anamorphic lens on it. Okay. And so this particular room has a variable masking screen. So mm -hmm. it will change from 16 by nine to 235. Okay. Um, and uh, obviously the projector will automatically change with it. But this JBL synthesis system is just a unbelievable sounding system, mm -hmm. right? So we've got Anthem room correction, uh, that's calibrated in there. In here, we've got Dirac calibrated. Okay. A lot more speakers. We have compression drivers. So the slam that you get in this room because of the compression drivers mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is huge. Yeah. 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 I mean, this room, and it's funny walking between the three rooms. This, honestly, each room got a little bit quieter. And this room is super quiet. So this is more, you know, acoustically uh, 
Acoustically treated. There we go. What it's so cool yeah. that you recognize <laughs> that the noise floor changed from room to room, which is totally true. I've never heard anyone else catch that because what's happening is when you start in the entry level theater, right? We don't have as much acoustic treatment, mm -hmm. everything else. By the time we got in here, we've really treated the room well mm -hmm. and everything else. That was a great catch on, on your part. Yeah, yes, that's it exactly does, right. It does. And this, yeah, and I mean, you even got tiered seating in here compared to the other room. So, Cool. So let's jump from this okay. and let's just, we'll take a peek in the uh, the service room. All right. And so the other thing that I noticed while I was here was this headphone wall. They've got Focals, they've got Grados, they've got a ton of headphones, the Bowers and Wilkins right here. And you can just touch them. It's okay. You know, <laughs> they're okay with you touching this, the headphones. But um, but can you tell me just a little bit about, I mean, there's, a huge, I mean, we go from $49 here to you know, four thousand dollars. So uh, you got the entire space covered here. Yeah. So one of the things that's interesting about headphones is they're very personal, right? Mm -hmm. And so the setup in the stores is that uh, we have everything, as you said, from the very entry level to the most expensive you could get. You, mm -hmm. What happens is you take them off this wall mm -hmm. and you bring them over here, and we have a personal listening area over here. Mm -hmm. And so. Uh, throughout the day, people will sit in the personal listening area, uh -huh. try the different headphones, uh -huh. and then select the ones they want right. uh, based on just listening to them. And we've got different headphone amps and everything else people can try. Hey, come on, guys. That's, that's really cool. <laughs> that's really cool. Headphones, turntables, you can all do it right here. That's so cool. What else we got? Yeah, so you'll see here we also have all the different types of powered speakers. Mm -hmm. so there's a lot of people that are going, hey, I want something for my desktop or for a smaller room. Mm -hmm. And so we have everything from the audio engines to the peach trees. Uh, Contos, you name it, all the major players uh, mm -hmm. as well. Sweet. Now, Sweet. one of the things you thought was really cool about our store is the service. So I'll yes. let you just yes. uh, give everyone a heads up. So uh, one of the things they, they showed me yesterday was their service bench, which is in here, and they service all of their customers' products. Anything that you buy from them, if you have an issue, you can definitely service it. And that impressed me because Oftentimes on the channel in the comment section, somebody will be having an issue and they'll ask, you know, what should I do about this or that this is going on? And I'll try to give them my best response that I can. You know, I would try these three or four things, right? But I always have to say, if that doesn't work, contact customer service. And, you know, that's always a little bit intimidating um, to some people. And, and it's just, well, you know, it's a 1-800 number. I'll sit on hold for forever, right? Well, with Audio Advice, if you purchase from them, and I want to say this, if you purchase from them, you can contact them. And if you need to send to them for service, it'll go right back here. I actually saw a, um, what I'll call a vintage CD player just sitting there. Some, you know, some customers CD player from probably I'd say the late nineties is in there and they are actually servicing it, which is really cool. Now, like I said, it's for customers only because obviously they can't take every person on the internet's thing on their bench. And you know, they're just not, they don't have, you know, that much, uh, those, that many texts, I guess I should say to service everybody's stuff, but that is really cool. And, um, a definite benefit, um, because, there's the bench right through that window. So anything yeah. you want to say about it? Yeah, that's exactly right. We, um, you know, we maintain um, service and support on mm -hmm. the phone for all of our customers nationwide and mm -hmm. then within the stores and then bench tech when something needs to come in mm -hmm. and we need to work on the boards. Um, the other cool thing we've been through sort of most of the store now, um, I think we, we were talking about before, but uh, in the weekend of August 20th, we're running Audio Vice Live. Mm -hmm. Audio Vice Live is going to bring in all these major manufacturers mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they're all going to come into downtown raleigh at the sheraton and we're going mm -hmm. to fill it so for people that maybe live farther away like oh, i'm not, not sure whether to come to a store there will be an entire weekend of everything not just um two channels and stereo and turntables and headphones mm -hmm. but actually we have manufacturers bring in theaters nice. and, and <laughs> into the hotel nice. and so we've sort of set up this killer weekend where people mm -hmm. could go oh i want to do a vacation weekend yeah and i want to go listen to theaters and see two channel systems and actually that weekend ziggy marley's going to be in town okay we've got uh, comedians in town it's going to be a, a big um roger waters is going to be here so a lot of people that are into audio it'll be a fun weekend for people to come yeah yeah definitely definitely show up for that i mean not only do you get a chance to see all of these different manufacturers but a concert you can stop by the store check it out that's actually a really good opportunity to come here and see what audio advice has to offer that's a really good opportunity wow i didn't i mean they didn't they told me about audio advice live but they didn't tell me all of that so that's actually really really <laughs> exciting 
Well, Cody, hopefully this was a lot of fun for you. It's fun for me just walking around with you. And now we're going to shut this thing off. You and I are going to play a little <laughs> yes, bit. Yes, we're definitely going to play. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go sit down and listen to some of these systems. But thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Also, use those links in the description below because I am an affiliate of Audio Advice. So I get a small commission when you do, but this is not a paid sponsorship or anything like that. They just said, I asked them if I could come. They said yes. And I am really impressed with this store. So definitely stop by the Raleigh store. The, the Charlotte store and just check it out because there's a lot of different things here. Turntables, headphones, elevation speakers, three different theaters. I mean, there's a lot going on here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit us up with a like and uh, we will talk to you next time.